Good morning everyone. I am out of my hotel room and it's actually pretty early right now. It's only 8 plus a.m. and uh, we are all heading to the Shinjuku bus terminal because today is the Gotemba outlet day. Yes, we are going to spend almost the entire day over there and I'm really looking really white in the viewfinder. Please sorry about apologize about that because the sunshine is shining towards that building and, and it's reflecting back onto my face. We are kind of early actually because um, the bus departs to the outlet at 8.55 so we have uh, at least 20 minutes to spare but it's a good thing because um, I'm just worried that baby Elena might be... Oh, it's so bright. I'm just worried that baby Elena might be... Oh, it's so bright. Sorry you guys. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I was just worried that baby Elena might be cranky. So, we... Oh, blinding. Yep, so anyways, we are going to the bus terminal. Um, I will continue vlogging later because the sunshine is really too bright right now. premium outlet so that is the signage and uh, this is my second time here so there are so many many shops around I think more than a hundred over shops and I am definitely going to roam around and see what I can get for myself I'm so excited but I doubt I'll be buying much but it's still good to see sorry for the bright light again oh by the way what is so fascinating about this place is that it has a um, a very nice view of Mount Fuji which I will show you guys later hey you guys check that out I am like so close to Mount Fuji isn't that mountain so beautiful but anyways let me continue with my shopping as of right now I just got myself a bag of Gap items so we have Prada over here and let me just see but look at that again so beautiful After walking for about two hours or so, we are finally down eating our lunch and we are having McDonald's today. And baby Elena is very happy. You want some fries? No, I'm not gonna give her, she's too young for fries. But yep, that's what we are eating today. Filet fish for me and the hubs, um, chicken nuggets, fries and ketchup. And this is a very interesting sauce which we do not have back in Singapore. It's called the fruit curry sauce. So let me try and tell you guys how it tastes. So dipping my fries into the sauce and it's actually very unique, you know. It's like curry sauce with a hint of fruit tea taste. And um, yeah, it's really very unique. I mean, Singapore so should really consider bringing this. Um, fruity curry sauce you know to Singapore because um, the taste is really really unique very different from our usual curry sauce hey you guys I am at my hotel lobby and uh, we kind of like just reach here I am so sorry about the lighting but it's really bad but anyways that is Elena so um, I'm honestly not feeling so good I think I caught a cold from my hubby my whole body feel really weak but anyway, look at her. She's trying to climb out of her pram. She is sleeping so much. I guess it's because the weather is so cold. 
but anyways I really hope you enjoy this vlog and uh, I just want to close it over here and uh, hopefully I get better so I see you guys and uh, thank you for watching bye for now from Tokyo Japan Good morning guys, I am already out of my hotel room and as you can see earlier there were like so many people around at the Shinjuku station and uh, I was actually there to purchase my metro card the one that is the 24 hour pass whereby I can use the entire day unlimited rides at the Tokyo Metro and also the Toei subway line but unfortunately we went to the wrong place so we had to make a very big detour and come to this area this is the big camera so it's actually big big and Uniqlo something like that I, I might get my facts wrong but yep this is one place that they sell that 24 hour metro pass so it's actually pretty late right now it's already 12 30 so we are going to take the subway to Ginza sorry for cutting the footage short earlier because there was someone in the lift and they were looking at me in a very weird way but anyways I am waiting at the Shinjuku station because my hubby forgotten to bring the hot and room temperature water for the baby so he has to go back to the hotel and get all those stuff well, you know, traveling with a baby really is a very big different thing and it's very very stressful. We got into a lot of uh, squabbles, honestly. And uh, we are still trying to make it, you know, as peaceful as possible. Because uh, oftentimes, you know, he will be the forgetful one and uh, I, it just basically made me feel so frustrated. But I am trying my best to make the best of the whole situation. But anyways, this is baby Elena. Yes, that is baby Elena and she is so beautiful and cute. What happened to your head? Your head is covering your eye. So this is she. She's wearing a brand new coat that I got from um, Oshkosh Bukosh. Her head again is from H&M. And her shoes are from New Balance. I just got it recently at the uh, ABC Mart here in Japan. Um, her jeans are also from Osh gosh, bagosh. Um, inside is a three quarter tea that is from Petit Batu. And as for myself, um, this is my brand new scarf that I got from Louis Vuitton. My coat again is from Uniqlo and it's the cashmere uh, material which I really like it a lot. My tights is, um, these are my tights. They are from Zara and my shoes of the day, they are from Reebok and it's the easy tone. So it's meant to firm up your butt while you walk. So I am looking forward to having more firm butt because in Japan, uh, you will be walking a lot. So for my makeup of the day, I am having my wing liner, my eyebrows, uh, eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows are on fleek. Uh, my lipstick is from um, Chanel and this is the matte lipstick. I really like this. Um, and my back of the day, I'm using, I'm using my Longchamp and uh, I decided to change out from my um, CDH or uh, Balenciaga CD bag. The reason is because I felt like that bag is a bit too heavy. Um, I will, you know, tell you guys the details, you know, when I get to a, another hotel room or maybe back in Singapore. But um, yeah, so while waiting for my hubby, I am actually very hungry because it's actually 12:30 p.m. We actually left the hotel really, really late because my baby decided to poop and she dirtied the hotel bed so it's a very big drama oh it's really very tiring for me too and also my hubby so i got myself this mini pretzels and i am going to you know have a bite while waiting for my hubby to come so many 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 people 
<laughs> we have managed to find Rasa uh, Malaysia but then we saw there's Indian food on the fourth floor we are now seated in the restaurant and look at that deco it's a quite a small restaurant but the smell of Indian food is so delicious let me just quickly show you guys um, the menu I mean they have so many yummy Indian food especially when I'm so hungry right now let me just quickly show you guys so they have snacks which um, like spicy potato, samosa Kucha, I'm not sure what is that. Soup, salad, curry, chocolate, tandoori dishes. Everything looks so nice. And seafood, naan, that's my favorite. I think I will definitely get this. Garlic naan, I love garlic naan. And there's rice um, and also there's the biryani set okay wow there's so many you know set for me to choose and also as for beverages these are what they have soft drinks coffee mango and so on yeah so let me just quickly make my decision and i will show you guys what i finally decided to get look at how they display the utensils for us to use later this is the first time i have ever seen a restaurant display utensil like in the middle of the table so i wonder how am i going to like you know position my plate okay that's where they position a plate so that's my utensil so when my dish comes i really wonder how they're gonna position everything <laughs> very unique our appetizer has arrived and i got for ourselves two samosa and i'm not sure what's that green sauce <laughs> looks quite scary but um yep that's our drink i'm having coca-cola with ice and my hubby is having the plain chai which is milk and tea so let us begin our main meal has come this is what the hubby has ordered he has ordered chicken biryani the quantity looks quite a lot but given the fact that he's hungry i guess this should be an easy fit for him to finish so this is how it looks and for me i got myself two garlic naan very huge and also butter chicken curry which they say is the it tastes really nice and um, i actually want them to make it spicy for me i want to try the hubs biryani so this is how it is It's a bit bland. I think it's quite spicy. A bit bland. Um, yeah. It's okay. Let me get the chicken. It's just the chicken. The chicken is very spicy. Very tasty. It's very nice. So I guess with the chicken and the rice, if you eat that together, it will taste perfect. Thumbs up. Just finished my meal at that Indian restaurant. I will really recommend anyone to go there because it's really nice. But please be aware of the price. It's not a cheap Indian food. I think whatever we ate earlier, I paid about 80 over Singapore dollars. So it's not a cheap chicken biryani it's not a cheap none but at least we managed to crave satisfy our craving and eat some local in a way local delight and right now we are just going to stroll along the streets of Ginza and I am wearing my brand new Valentino shades that I got recently
I'm now at the Imperial Palace and that is you know the Imperial Palace over there very tiny um, we're not able to go in so the only way I can do or what I can do right now is just take pictures behind it the scenery over there is very beautiful so I'm gonna start taking lots of pictures with my baby girl Look at how gorgeous and serene the entire palace is. This is where the Emperor of Japan stays. So, I have really taken so many pictures around this area. Time for me to move on. It's almost 4.30 pm and the sky has already turned so dark. So, right now, I am going to find this cafe that I saw online. It's a chocolate cafe and yeah, got it! Okay. That's the Lin chocolate cafe. So let's take a look what's inside. So this is what I ordered. This is the cake. It's called the Oprah cake. And I got the small chocolate ice cream. And this is for the hubs. And for myself, I got the ice cafe mocha. And apart from that, I also got some chocolate from Lin. I'm at the very famous Shibuya crossing. Look at the number of people. It's so crazy. And uh, look at that wonderful big screen, lighting and all. Oh my god, I can never have enough of this place. This is such a gorgeous. Now I'm just basically waiting to cross the very famous street whereby everybody can cross the street in any kind of manner or I should say diagonally and all. Let's just wait and uh, we will start the crossing together. Okay, I'm crossing the road now. You can see everybody just crossing like it's nobody's business. Oh my gosh, look at the number of people. 